let's create a metaball seamless pattern. So the first thing we want to do is select the ellipse tool. So go to the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key to draw a circle, then draw a circle on your canvas. Then go to the top of the screen and make the width and the height of the circle 100 pixels. Now pick the selection tool, hold down the alt key to duplicate, duplicate the circle and while holding down the shift key to make sure it aligns, drag the circle to the right until it snaps to the original circle. Then to repeat this step, click Ctrl D. Now select these three circles and copy these circles down below. Then select all the circles, go to the stroke width and select 20 points. Select the shape builder tool and fuse these two shapes together and these two shapes together. And while still having all the shapes selected, go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Now go to the Pathfinder panel. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. So go down to the Pathfinder panel and click this button right here that says Trim. Then right click all the shapes and click Ungroup. Pick the selection tool, unselect the shapes and pick these two shapes right here. Hold the Shift key to select them both. Now drag these two shapes to the side, give them a color and delete the rest of the shapes. So now we have the shapes that we need and if you want all the shapes to be the same color, you don't need the next step where I create more of these shapes. But if you want different colors in your pattern, you need to do this next step. And by the way, if you like this video so far, consider dropping a like. Let's continue. Now select both these shapes and put them up in the corner. Then go to object, go to transform and go to move. Then for the horizontal position, type in 200. And for the vertical position, type in 0 and click copy. So now we just need a lot of these shapes this way. So to repeat the step we just did, click Ctrl D as many times as you want. I will just fill out this canvas, but the exact number of shapes is up to you. The more shapes you have, the more variation you can do in your coloring. Now select all the shapes, go to object again, go to transform and go to move again. And this time we type 0 in horizontal and 200 in vertical and click copy. And once again click Ctrl D to copy this step. So here we have our pattern but before we create the pattern swatch let's do some coloring. And you can color them the exact way you like but for this tutorial I will just do some quick random coloring. When you are done coloring the pattern, select all the shapes, go to object, go to pattern and go to make. I will just zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. So here as you can see we have our pattern and we need to connect our original pattern to the copies right here without getting these spaces right here. So to do this, make sure this link is off, click in the width field and type in minus 80 and do the same thing for the height, minus 80. Now click done. So now we simply need to test our pattern. So delete these shapes, draw another shape and select our new pattern. 